everybody. What a beautiful day. Look at that. Bit nippy. Got my flannels back on. All right. Now, um, ideally, uh, what I wanted to do was mount the fridges on a double slide so they slid out the back. But I can't do that because the kitchen is so big. I'll set that up in a minute, but you can see how much room the kitchen takes up at the end of the trailer. It's attached to the um, back door and my wife wants a kitchen, so that's got to stay. Okay, so what we got here is I've drilled holes. One, two, three, I've still got to clean that metal up there four and there's another one behind this fridge you can see the two angle fridges there um, these are a 10 millimeter stainless steel marine grade stainless steel I don't know if you can see that or not eye bolt now they just go down and drop in the holes Oh, it's a tight fit, but they do fit in the holes there, there, and down there. And then I get underneath um, and uh, do them up with a washer, locking washer, nut and on each one and then I use these fridge tie down straps to tie them down now nothing else goes on this this front section here we've just got the two fridges that bit at the back they need for air okay so that's it for the front section all right I know it's a bit hard to see in here, but there's not much I can do about that. Alright, um, now the batteries, there's the axle. Now I've got a counter all that weight at the front, so the batteries are actually going where this fridge is, in a line all the way across, and then they're going to have the charge controller and everything built there. Um, and then they're going to have some cabinetry built on top of that. Little hold pot pans, plates, um, all that sort of stuff there. Uh, so, all right, let me. I know it's a bit hard to envisage right now because it's just a mess why I'm building it all out. Uh, let me open this back door up. Oh, by the way, um, uh, PMX campers or uh, Aussie Trail or Easy Trail camping. When you sell these things, when I got this home, this here had nearly fallen out. Alright, to fix that, I've got a Nolex lock nut. Put it on uh, because this has got a small recess in it so the Nilex faced in and then I set this to where I wanted it okay and just locked it in there um, you should do that at the factory because by the time I got home and it's a few hundred kilometers drive this thing had nearly undone itself and rattled out I would not have been impressed if I'd have got it home and that was missing. Uh, so that's something you need to address. Alright, just uh, can we see what I'm doing there? Yeah, we can. Now, the, the way this works is you open your back door. And it's as simple as that. That holds your back door open. Okay. And 
you get around the front, I'll just have to move some of this stuff. But there's quite a lot of room in there, but the sink takes up half of it, okay? Which is a shame. What, what I would like to see them do, I'll uh, explain to what she is in a minute. Let's let me move these tools off here. All right, now this comes around, they fit in the holes there and there. That's your drain. That screws underneath. Uh, your water pipe is just here. Okay, that pulls out, plugs into your water pump. Okay. Um, and then you got your your drawers. But what I would like to see now, you see the width of the sink. I would like to see the sink turned long ways, so this actually takes up less room. Yeah, you're going to lose drawer space, but what are these drawers good for anyway? You know, how long's a knife and fork? I mean, it's only that long. Um, so I'd actually like to see this a lot narrower. Uh, yeah, that, that would mean the sink would take up all this area here. But that's fine. You got this work surface over here still. <coughs> and that would have allowed me to have the fridge and the freezer on a double slide. Okay, it would have left me enough room that I could have had the fridge and the freezer on an extended double slide that would have just gone click click and all slid out for easy access. Um, they're not too bad where they are now. I mean, if I pull this forward to where it's meant to be, which is up here, you can see properly yeah. you can see you can still access that without any problem at all okay um, but it just would have been nice if I had them on that side but anyway that that fridge moves up into here and the batteries go straight across there and then I built some uh, cabinetry in there to hold pots and pans and all that sort of stuff. Um, so one of these is going to be a freezer, one's going to be a fridge. They're going to fit most of the uh, fresh foods and frozen foods in them. Um, and the reason I bought a ute was so I could share the loads. Okay. You see, some people go, um, especially the city people, and the amount of crap they've got loaded into their trailers and their Kasani drive station wagons, four-wheel drives up in the city. I mean, they've, they bring them down to the forest, you know, and they get a bit of dirt on them and then they don't wash them for the rest of the year. Um, but they're all overloaded and then they come down to the country and they got crap they got roof racks on the top with five or six jerry cans gas bottles um, everything up there you know and probably some kids strapped up there as well because they've got so much crap inside the vehicle they can't fit their kids inside either so they probably strapped them to the roof racks as well god only knows anyway And then they come down to the country, roll over, kill themselves, uh, cause accidents, you know, even accidents, and, and they increase our country road tolls or our country accident tolls sheerly because of overloaded vehicles. Um, I would really like to see the police crack down on people like that. Weights and measures, get out there and start measure, start weighing. Uh, trailers. Well you see them with boat trailers on. 
a boat trailer is designed to carry a boat okay they've got these little tinnies or well, aluminium dinghies on with a boat and a motor and that's it that trail it's all that trailer's designed but then they fill it to the gunnels with fucking crap and excuse the uh, f-bomb there but um yeah, and you see them with busted wheel bearings, blowing out tyres. Oh. And they're following their cars and they're swaying like this because they're incorrectly balanced. I mean, yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Now you can see down there there's a recovery point at the back of this trailer. Um, so if you get bogged, you unhook the trailer, get your car out. And then you can put a rope to the trailer either forwards or backwards and uh, get it unstuck, which is a great idea. Um, but anyway, that's, that's it for this short video. I just wanted to show you some of the plans. Um, this is a massive box, this one. Okay, uh, what's going to be in here? Uh, basically, well, you can see there's a for water filters. Okay, yeah, I've used two. They're different sorts of filters. This one's got silver in it. This is the second filter. Um, this one's um, just carbon. Uh, this one's coconut fibre and um, activated uh, silver. Silver and activated carbon inline filter. Um, You put the water through that and it's absolutely beautiful to drink. If you're still worried about uh, bugs, you can get a SteriPen and drop a SteriPen in your tank for a little while and that'll kill the bacteria. Uh, water rated hose. But basically, these are gonna go in here and basically it's gonna be, just be, um, there's not gonna be too much weight in here. Just uh, in, 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 in another container there's just going to be salt, pepper and stuff like that in here, you know. So this is just basically a kitchen. That's all it is. There's going to be a solar panel up there, a big one, on this one. Okay. Uh, 250 watt solar panel. Um, the, so when this is open this will face towards the sun. It's a perfect angle. I've also got two 110 watt solar panels that I'll show you this later on. So there's going to be a massive amount of solar charging the battery bank in here and the batteries I'm going to be using are brand new. They're, um, uh, yeah, they're an amazing battery, you know, they've got a 25, 30 year life. They're an AGM type battery. Um, we don't have any pricing or anything on them yet because uh, well, we're waiting for them to be made and then delivered. So this will be the first time you've seen these type of batteries will be here in this camper. <coughs> so that's another thing to look forward to. Alright, I'm going to continue my work here and just mount these in. Um, I'll bring this back a bit later on and show you when, when they're mounted and then basically I'm just going to mount the solar panel um, that's standing over there in the corner you can just see it that white thing over in the corner over there um, yeah I'll, I'll mount that and work out where the wires are going for that and where the charge controller is going for that. The um, 110 watt panels have got their own charge controllers on the back so I don't have to worry about them. Uh, so yeah, alright. That's it. I reckon that's going to be totally, totally awesome. Uh, when it's finished, it will be underweight by a long shot. Uh, this thing's dry weight 750 kilos. I'm allowed 1500. Uh, I won't come anywhere near that, eh? I won't come anywhere near that. 
Um, so that'll be goodly, 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 goodly. All right, I'll bring this back later on.